Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another exciting episode of All About You. In today's segment, I will be talking about the update that Bandai just released. So as you all know, counter skills, counter cards were able to pretty much impact the game. But now Bandai decided to add a little little switch where CBL just became pretty OP because CBL's effect can negate any battle card. Period. It doesn't matter if the battle card says its skill cannot be negated. Back then, CBL could not touch a battle card that could that its skill could not be negated. And the reason being is because the way counter counters worked was slightly different. Now they're making counter skills a little bit stronger, which is why CBL got limited. That's the main reason. CBL basically now states that it can negate a card effect when it's coming into play before it's actually in play, period. Meaning that its skill, even if it has an ability that says this skill cannot be negated, you can still negate the skill. That means that victory strike, unfortunately, you're negated, buddy. That means that the new Frost Poison nice extra card, it's you'll negate the ability and put the card into rest mode. That's not good for cards like Victory Strike because at least before if you have the Broly Leader, the yellow one, you can always use your skill to take a life and restand them to attack for game. Now you can't do that anymore. So it sucks. It is what it is. But Bandai now made sure that counter skills have just even more playability. And that means that for you ladies and gentlemen, you gotta be careful with cards like CBL and of course Frost Poison's uh, uh, Senbon or whatever that card is called. You know, you guys already know it, it costs, it's, it's dual color and you know, it pretty much has an abundance of effects, but primarily it negates a skill of a battle card entering play and it puts them sideways. And of course, if you meet the requirement, you also restand an energy and I believe you draw a card as well. So it has just a lot of effects into one. And, you know, it's just something that you guys now need to know because Bandai is pretty much, you know, they're shaping the game into a different direction. And now cards like CBL became even more powerful, which is now understandable as to why they restrict it. So that's just an update. Now, my thoughts on it. That is a good move. I believe that counter skills should work universally the same, meaning that a card like Koblala should have been able to negate Victory Strike. Because yes, the card is not in play yet, so why would its skill have, you know, priority over a card that says negate the skill of the battle card? Because remember, a counter play is based off of the actual playing. So the moment that you are revealing your card, you can use that counter play and prevent it as if it never came into play. That's the whole purpose of counter plays. You know, you want to be able to stop the card before it gets on its tracks, you know? So thank you, Bandai, for releasing this. This is very helpful. And obviously, you know, some players will be a little upset about it. You know, I heard that there was a little uproar in a lot of the Facebook groups. So it is what it is. Not everyone's going to be happy about your decisions. But in the comment section below, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this new change? Do you feel like it's going to impact the format even more? Now people are more afraid of Tricolor Mill because it's already running cards that can stop your opponent. And Victory Strike was one of the main cards that could counter Mill off the rip. But now because they run that card, they can easily stop Victory Strike for the turn. So at least they're guaranteed to survive for the turn. And that's not, you know, that's necessarily not good for you. Now you're forced to have the height and mastery. If you're running the height and mastery package, you're still fine. But for the most part, it's just like, it is what it is. You know, it sucks. Now, if your card has deflect, you still won't have to worry about that. So that's the plus side of this whole situation. But again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. You know, make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And of course, you know, if you can share some of these videos, you know, a lot of other players need to be more informed about the format and about this card game in general. And this is a good place for people to learn, especially if you have interest of becoming a better player. I'm going to be putting up some gameplay videos on this channel and I have a lot of hot content coming on the Patreon. So if you guys are interested, I do suggest checking out the Patreon. There's going to be a video going up on the $3 and above tier. So it's something that you all would be uh, advantageous if you take the opportunity right now to join in. But 
Thank you guys for watching. And as always, this channel is all about you.